What so, is, um, if you're willing to share, what is sacred to you? Um, gosh, what isn't sacred to me? You know, when you really, uh, I think when you're really present and you're really in <clears throat> not judging yourself and not judging other people, uh, and you're just present, which is what we try to learn, right? When, with sports or with meditation or with reading a good book or, you know, I think we're trying to get to that space of presence and not even get there. It's just there, just relax into it, uh, or f be able to feel it. Um, it can be hard to feel. It's a lot. I feel like everything is sacred and it, mm -hmm. it can be overwhelming. Some, I think this connects to <clears throat> a lot of different psychological kind of issues where we just, we're physically embodied trying to get to a point where we can handle sacredness of the world that, or and a sacred, I don't mean that it's off limits to anyone. I mean, the opposite, it's full, fully accessible and fully uh, integrated and um, fully everyone's, you know? Um, I think it can be hard at times when I'm in that space to uh, like walk down the street or do anything because everything becomes so beautiful. And, and it's not that I'm, oh, it's so beautiful. It's more that it's just infinitely rich and interesting. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what isn't sacred. I. I that would be a question I would probably ask mm. as an answer. That's good. <laughs> That's excellent. Is there certain things that are more sacred than others? Or do you think maybe I'm already applying the frame wrong, you know, like I'm thinking maybe in a subject object way, but I'm, I'm trying to see your view of, of everything as sacred. And I think I really get it. Is that because of the relationship you have to it? Or is that the thing in itself? Is Why don't it... you tell me what you think of as sacred first? Like, what, what, what I, of course, you can't define the term absolutely, but kind of tell me what's your, what are you imagining when you say that word? Because maybe we also have. You know, I think different... human connection is sacred to me. So, what we're doing right now, uh, ritual is sacred to me also a very broad term both are extremely broad i think i feel that sacredness is very present in my life when like you said i'm the when i'm very present and mm -hmm. so it's when i'm really feeling everything fully and i'm sensing the world around me uh, and i'm letting it show its fullness to me its wholeness that's sacred I yeah think. that sounds like love too a bit you know yeah um and and i see what you're saying because you know then like let's take a something negative that we w we wouldn't say violence is sacred for example in that in that formulation of the word um but i guess uh you know i think i would have to look really deeply into uh not that I would ever say anything harmful is, it would be more that it's, um, it's, you can't distinguish all of this, uh, and, and sort of say that there is just the violence, I guess, because that's coming out of a whole complex, uh, multidimensional world. And, um, there's something about just me even calling it just you know, I, some kind of act that I wouldn't put those two together, but it's a bit like if I try to fold a, fold the paper and put the two, two sides together, you can do it. Um, but I'm not sure it like adds anything for, to, to try to separate my experience of the world being sacred from there being some human acts that are to me from my position, uh, almost the opposite of that experience that i have of mm -hmm. the world as sacred yeah know? so it would be it's almost like i can't i guess what really comes to mind is what i would say is that it's the pattern that connects like um i think of love as that way too like when when we're having a really good conversation when we're reading something that really 
touches us when we're in nature our whatever this pattern is that we've called self you know in order to understand it uh and whatever that pattern is that we're sensing as that self is connected and it always is and that's the love and that's for me sacred so that pattern is always connected it's you can't ever disconnect it but from this embodied sensual position that i'm in i don't always feel that you know and when i feel that i would call it sacred but yeah beautiful